Yes, hello everybody. Hope you have an amazing day. So let's talk about the small intestine, which is the longest component of the digestive tract that is over six meters long, which is divided into three main portions, the duodenum, jejunum, and ileum. The wall of the small intestine consists of four main layers, the mucosa, submucosa, muscularis, and serosa or adventitia. While the relief of the mucosa of the small intestine are the folds, intestinal villi, and intestinal glands. The folds, also called the plicia circularis, that consist of mucosa and submucosa. The intestinal villi are finger-like surface projections of the, mucosa, of the mucosa into the lumen of the small intestine. The intestinal glands, which are the crypts of Libracoon, are invaginations of the epithelium into lamina propria. So the, the first layer of the intestine is the uh, uh, mucosa, which consists of epithelium, lamina propria, and muscularis mucosa. The epithelium is a simple columnar type, while the lamina propria composed of loose connective tissue containing tissue with blood vessels, nerves, and smooth muscle cells. These cells are responsible for the rhythmic movement of the villi, which are important for the absorption. The lamina propria contains aggregates of lymphoid tissue, which is termed as God-associated lymphoid tissue, that is abbreviated into G-A-L-T, that is the GALT. And the last uh, portion, or the last part of the mucosa is the muscularis mucosa that consists of smooth muscle cells. Uh, the intestinal epithelium consists of some type of cells, such as intracytes, as you can see here, uh, goblet cells, uh, panet cells, endocrine cells, M cells or microfold and stem cells, which are also called the undifferentiated cells. These intracyte cells are tall columnar cells with uh, oval nuclei in the basal half of the cell, specialized for the transport of substance. In the apex of each cell, there is the straight uh, border of closely packed microvilli, which greatly increase the surface area for absorption. Amino acids and monosaccharides are absorbed by active transport. Monoglycerides and fatty acids cross the microvilli membranes passively. Absorbed substances enter either the fenestrated capillaries in the lamina propria, just below the epithelium, or the lymphatic lacteal, which mostly passes lipids and lipoproteins particles and lipoprotein particles. Goblet cells are found interspersed among the absorptive cells. They are unicellular um, mucus secreting glands. The slender base of the cell contains the nucleus and organelles. Goblet cells usually appear pale or empty due to the loss of their contents upon preparation. They progressively increase in number from the proximal to the distal part of the intestine. The main function of the goblet cell is to protect and lubricate the lining of the intestine. Well, uh, let's jump to panet cells. They are primatal cells that present only at the basis of the small intestine or the, or the intestinal glands. These exocrine cells contain large acidophilic granules in the apical cytoplasm. The basal cytoplasm is basophilic. The granules contain the uh, antibacterial enzyme lysozyme. The lysozyme is the enzyme that digests the cell wall of some bacteria. Panet cells also phagocytize some bacteria and protozoa as well. They may have a, a role in regulating the intestinal flora as well. So, um, let's jump to endocrine cells, which are the most uh, often found in the lower part of the crypts, but can occur at all levels of the epithelium. Their most abundant products are the um, cholecystokinin, which is abbreviated into CCK, which stimulates the pancreatic enzyme secretion 
on gallbladder contraction. And the second uh, product is the secretin that stimulates the pancreatic and biliary bicarbonate secretion and gastric inhibitory peptides that is the GIP which is the last product of the intraendocrine cells that inhibits the gastric acid secretion. Uh, M cells or microfold cells they uh, overlie pyre patches and other large lymphatic aggregations. They uh, endocytize antigens and transport them to the underlying lymphoid cells where immune responses to foreign antigens can be initiated. M cells represent an important link in the intestinal immune cells or the uh, intestinal immune system. Uh, the last type of cells are the stem cells or undifferentiated cells. They are situated in depth of the intestine crypts or, or the intestinal crypts. They are similar to absorptive cells, but their microvilli are not so well developed. Stem cells proliferate actively by mitosis. The new form cells migrate upwards from the crypt towards the walls of the villi and differentiate into absorptive or goblet cells. So uh, this all was in the mucosal layer. Let's jump to the submucosal layer that consists of uh, loose connective tissue, contains aggregates of lymphoid tissue known as pyrus patches. In the submucosa of the duodenum, especially in the duodenum, there are the duodenal glands of Brunner. These are compound tubular uh, mucous glands. The third layer is the muscularis. The muscularis is composed of two layers uh, of, smooth muscles, of a smooth muscle tissue or a smooth muscle cells. And the last uh, layer, which is either a serosa or an, or an adventitia, uh, is also present in all the intestinal part. Yeah, I think that is all for today. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and share all the videos. Uh, and yes, uh, see you in the next video.